half episode. How about that? Here's the man you all came here to see tonight. He stole my host role just like he stole Katy Perry's chastity belt, Hunter Golden. Hello, hello, welcome to the host swap episode of Longhorn Late Night. No need to adjust your TVs, I am that handsome. All right, welcome. We got a great show going for you tonight. So now we got from VGHL, a show here on TSTV, we got Steven Smiles Ramertha in the house. And we got the talented singer-songwriter, Cassandra Davis is here. Johnny, you're like, you're so far away. It's weird being, standing here. You're, I know. You, you look sharp tonight. So do you, buddy. We got a, you don't have a tie. A great guest list and a great host. So I'm looking forward to this one. I learned from the best. All right, let's 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 get things going off here. We got, we got so you've been taking for you. lessons from Nathan? What's up? You learned from the best. You've been taking joke lessons from Nathan? I took uh, drinking lessons from Nathan, <laughs> joke lessons from you. All right. Well, let's start out. Uh, how about in ancient times? Historians found new evidence that leads them to believe King Tut died in a chariot racing accident. And that's unfortunate. His mom always told him not to text in chariot. Oh. King Tut, what you thinking? Okay. <laughs> that joke is an oldie, but a goodie. Oh. Okay. The CIA, it's been released. The CIA has offered AT&T $10 million a year to listen in on people's phone calls. I just want to know how much it will cost to get my ex-girlfriend to text me back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, speaking of more technology stuff, McDonald's has said they want to have a 3D printer at every restaurant they have so that kids can get any kind of toy they want. And that's great. And hopefully uh, kids can get nutrients someday, too. <laughs> what are nutrients? Nutrients? Stuff I've never heard of, buddy. I think they're in fruit and vitamins. I don't know. All right. Pop tarts? <laughs> They got sugar. <laughs> All right, uh, New Zealand singer, songwriter, pop star, Lord, she made headlines this past weekend because she said the only entertainer she compares with is Kanye West. And uh, that got Johnny and I to thinking. She's not the only Kiwi that uh, is similar to rappers, that Frodo and Bilbo Baggins, just like the Ying Yang Twins. <laughs> no, they don't like it? They don't remember Shake It Like a Salt Shaker? <laughs> No, these kids. <laughs> All right. I like that one. In the world of sports, I hope everyone tuned in to watch the Longhorns this past weekend. They beat West Virginia. Did everyone see the game? Everyone saw the game? You know, it was, believe it or not, it was the first overtime game in Mac Brown's career about the, uh, about the win. Kay said he was glad they pulled out a victory, but he was pissed he had to spend 15 more minutes in West Virginia. <laughs> I don't blame him. Not a quality place. <laughs> to play. Thanks for your input. It's a lovely state. There's a lot of West Virginians who enjoy the show. So, yeah. <laughs> shout out. I thought I had a retort there for you, and then I, I started talking, and I didn't. <laughs> and then I kept talking, and, and it went from bad to worse. But I apologize to the good people of West Virginia. They're more than welcome to enjoy the show because we are fans of them as well. <laughs> Tried to save it there, Hunter. Thanks Back for, to you. <laughs> thanks for that sentimental <laughs> moment, Johnny. <laughs> All right, we're sticking with uh, football news. Everyone's heard about uh, Richie Incognito. Yeah, y'all heard about the whole thing? The owner of the Dolphins says he is ashamed by it all, and I would be too. He plans to put a stop to all hazing from here on out with the Miami Dolphins. Terrible news for backup running back Mike Delta Sigma Chi. <laughs> All right. He, he's ready for fight night. Thank you. <laughs> Longhorn late night fave, Kate Upton. We love Kate Upton. She's our fave. She's she on the show. She was yeah. on the show once. Well, she said she was. She, uh, she's currently trying to book the lead female role in the upcoming Entourage movie. You going to want to see the movie? Yeah. She's practicing acting by walking around in a bikini, flirting, and squeezing her boobs together. She's preparing for the role. They hated your joke, Johnny. They hated it. Did, did you notice how no one else laughed? I was loving it. You loved it. I thought that was a great, well, 
Okay. But did, get, do you get it though? The joke was that that's what that's all she does. That's what she's gonna do in the. Yeah. I get it. I get it. That's what she's gonna do in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think they. I don't think they. They know my girlfriend well enough. So that's, that's they don't know the Yin Yang Twins. They don't know Kate Upton. <laughs> I guess we got the book crowd in here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> they, they love the. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say they love the Harry Potter joke, but I realized we didn't have one tonight. <laughs> so. What show are you watching, man? Okay, let's get back to it. The, tr the trains come off the tracks. We're gonna try and get it back on. Totally. Nathan's loving it though. How you doing, Nathan? Always, man. All right. <laughs> Ex Cowboys player Sam Hurd said that while he was on the team, he gave weed to 25 different teammates. That's a lot of teammates. America's team, we're like Amsterdam's team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shelby, big fan of that. <laughs> Shelby's a football fan now. Yeah. <laughs> the co-founder of YouTube, the popular website, you might have heard of it, YouTube. The co-founder said the reason why they created the site is because they couldn't find anywhere online that had the Janet Jackson wardrobe malfunction. It's the same reason Johnny and I created JanetJacksonNipSlip.com. <laughs> All right. All right, and finally tonight, we got one more for you. A couple from Connecticut found $98,000 in a desk they bought from Craigslist. All I ever found on Craigslist was true love. All right, we got a fantastic Longhorn late night for you tonight. As I said, smiles from VGHLs here. Cassandra Davis is here. We're going to rock the house. Johnny, you doing good over there? I'm doing well. I'm going to come up with more, with better retorts for, for B Block. God, I hope so. That's my goal. We got the Texas Hippie <laughs> 2, the official Longhorn late night band, Nathan and Shelby. Take it away, guys. <laughs> I'm going down to Texas to meet some old friends of mine. And I'm going down to Texas to meet some old friends of mine. And I'm going down to Texas, gonna have myself a damn good time. 